This poem is called The Questerling. When all the other birds take wing, the poor bedraggled questerling yearns to join them in their flight, flaps his wings with all his might, until his heart begins to pound, yet still he's anchored to the ground. That hapless, panning questerling, that hopeless, earthbound, flightless thing, is burdened by excessive weight. Oh, he regrets now that he ate so much candy, so much cake, not to mention chocolate shakes. Oh, how he regrets his fast food fling. No more French fries, oh, Questerling. Wait, watch his menus from now on till all that extra weight is gone. For now, he gives a somber sigh and dreams of soaring in the sky. I was going to write a happy poem once. Really, honestly, truly. I was going to write a happy poem. It's going to be funny. It's going to be clever. It was going to be a little dirty. But when I sat down to actually think of all the things that a happy poem needed, nothing seemed that funny anymore. I guess I wasn't feeling very clever. And at the time, I couldn't even think of anything dirty, so consequently, I wrote this poem. Hi, Steve Cannon, local poet, playwright, actor. Like a monk poem. Let's make like a monk in quarantine, sit in silence and pray. Let's make like a monk and embrace being sequestered for months. Let's make like a monk and read a book and contemplate. Let's make like a monk up by dawn and in bed at dusk. Let's make like a monk, stay in our inner chamber and think deep thoughts. Let's make like a monk and pray nonstop for an end to this deadly virus. Today is August 26th, and it marks my last reading for the Dead Poets Society, at least for this season. It was meant to be lighthearted, but August 26th is a big deal in my family and I had to mark the occasion. It's the day that both my grandparents on my mother's side were born, one year apart. Maisie made it to 93. Today would have been Ed's 106th birthday. I wrote this when he died three years ago. Long Live the Chief by Christopher Nevin Johnston. Where are you now, my chief? I trust somewhere warm and sweet where cold gnarled bones untangle and old stumps become dancing feet. Some place long lost lovers and friends, children and parents once again meet. Under sprawling summer oaks, your whole tribe of adoring folk, where you and your Maisie can sway cheek to cheek. An old Irish tune is calling you home, Papa, and we all wish you could stay. But the time has come, your long job finally done. You can be with your boy and your bride today. So follow that tune under a full summer moon to the great dance hall in the sky. Yes, follow that sweet beat through golden fields of wheat, for only your body can die. Happy birthday. And heart to kindred heart was bare, and summer days were far too short for all the pleasure crowded there. You like the airplane accent in the background. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait till it's done. When speech. I'm going to do Song of the Witches, my favorite. Double, double, toil and trouble. Fire burn and cauldron bubble. Filet of a fenny snake in the cauldron boil and bake. Eye of newt and toe of frog. Wool of bat and tongue of dog. Adder's fork and blind worm sting. Lizard's leg and... <laughs> Hi, I am Amy Lovato and I will be reading Hope. Oh, good. Were you recording? Yeah. Oh, you didn't have your headset on, so I didn't hear. 
Oh, I'm doing poetry. That's okay. Yellow. 